Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing August Sacred Space Crate. I am really, really excited, so let's get started. All right, guys, so let's open her up. Um, just let you know, I have a little bit of a cold, so if I sneeze, cough, or anything else, I'll have to take a little bit of a drink of water that I am so sorry ahead of time. All right, so this is what it looks like when we open her up. I haven't gotten a sacred space crate in a while. So on top here, we have, let's move that out of the way. All right, so we have our beautiful calendar. This is really, really beautiful. So obviously there's a little hint there, Native American uh, like theme. And I'm sure it's like nature or something like that. So it's really, really pretty. Very colorful. And I really like their calendars. And it is Native Spirit. I'm trying to hide <laughs> the spoilers. Native Spirit is the theme. All right. So first thing I see is this little guy. It's like braided. It looks like grass. Maybe sweet grass. I am not sure. That is right on top. And then our next little guy is all right. So it's sweet grass um, incense. So I am going to actually light. And this time I got my scissors because I don't want to be sitting here for an hour trying to open up packaging. So here is what it looks like. And the um, end of it is sparkly, which is very, very pretty. It has some green sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. But the ends of every incense stick has some green sparkle. So we are actually going to light her up right now. All right. Sometimes it doesn't take the first time. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I've been, I just picked it up at my uh, old apartment. And yeah, all right. So that smells really, really, really nice so far. Okay, let's dig into the box. I'm just going to move it to the side so that um, you could see everything because the box is taking way too much room. All right, I'm going to get my card up there. Okay. I have a little altar under, right behind there. So the first, well, not the first thing, the third thing is horsetail, sorry, horsetail um, salve. And it's a really pretty color green. Very nice. They're usually not scented. I don't really smell anything, but also the incense is going. But usually it's either very lightly scented or not scented at all. So we're going to see what horsetail is good for at the end. And I love that. All right. I love their salves. I love using salves in general. They're really, really helpful. And then up next, we got a nice tea. Let's move this out of the way. All right, sounds about right. We have a sunset tea. I love the packaging, very pretty. The pink and the like golden yellow is very nice. I have so much tea, guys, I really don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna be drinking tea all winter long. I don't have to buy anything. So let's open her up and I got my scissors. And we have, ooh, a spray, tree spirit. Oh, this is really exciting. I love that. I love working with like trees and just like forest stuff. So that makes me happy. Yeah, there was something about this box when I went to go pick it up that I was really excited for it. Because sometimes Sacred Space Crate is like, mid to me but um this time i was really excited so i must have been feeling all this so it sprays really good and it smells really sweet very nice i love that so far that's one of my favorite um items in the box and this box is really really heavy by the way so it must be something really cool in there 
So, let's see what this guy is. I think it's the herb. Yep. So this is white sage leaf. And I'm going to assume because it has a Native American theme to it that it's like ethically sourced. So we'll read about that in the, you know, at the end. All right. So far, so good. Well, so far, so great. I love this so far. All right. So in here we have this very cool sachet and this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stone. This is beautiful. That actually reminds me of one of my poor paintings. That is really, really, really beautiful. Um, again, this is something new to me, so I'm not sure what that is, but we'll definitely find out with the paperwork because they give uh, very nice descriptions of the paperwork. All right. Well, let's just put the calendar right there. That's a good spot for it. Okay. I want to be readjusting a few things so you can see everything properly. All right. Okay. This is amazing. So we have a beautiful, beautiful Oracle deck. Sorry, guys. I hit the camera. I was so excited I hit the camera. And we have this gorgeous Oracle deck. I'm trying to get out of the little sachet there. And I'm just going to take off this plastic so it does. I want to show you a couple of the cards. Um, yeah, I just want to show you a couple of the cards. And if you ever want me to go through this deck, just let me know. So, Native Spirit. So that's where the theme of the whole box comes from. This beautiful, beautiful artwork. And here is a little blurb in the back if you want to just, you know, pause and read it. And I am trying to get this open. It's really tight in the box right now. So I'm just trying to kind of get it loose. All right. Cool. So, very, very beautiful artwork, nice size book. Uh, it's black and white. Some of them are colored, but that's fine. I'm not a big stickler on that, but this is a nice size book. All right, beautiful. So let's look at a, just a few of the cards to see how the artwork um, is. We have Ancestors. Gathering your tribe. Beautiful. Grandmother Earth. Wow, it's really, really beautiful. Medicine bag. Medicine woman, medicine man. And offerings. Wow. This deck, I first of all, I love Oracle decks. I think they're great. I'm, I'm more like attracted to oracle decks than tarot i don't know why but i really enjoy a really awesome oracle deck and i don't have this so this is amazing um first of all this box i believe is 50 and it's like 10 dollars shipping if i'm not mistaken and so far i have to say it's definitely like worth it all right so let's put i'm just trying to get this deck together Sorry guys, just give me one sec. All right. And I'm just put that right there. And you can use that little sachet for like spell work or you can use it as it was intended to like protect your deck. And we have a book that is why Kindling the Native Spirit. So we have a book that is amazing. All right, that's the author. And now I'm just gonna flip the, to the back. If you wanna read the blurb, because it would take way too long, so I wanna go over the paperwork. So this is a beautiful book. Absolutely lovely. I think it says Dennis, uh, Denise, Dennis, sorry guys. 
So let's see. All right. So you know, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the table of contents. Here is the table of contents right there. So those are all like what she's going to be going over in the book. So that's really exciting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting um, a book. It was really heavy. That's great. And we did not get a candle this um, month, but I'm not mad at it because I'd much rather have the book and the can. All right, guys, I am back. So I just want to share this book with you real quick. It's called The Scent of Lemon and Rosemary by Rachel Henderson. And it's about working with Hestia in like a cottage or house magic. Um, so I'm really excited about that. All right, sorry, the camera just went wonky. All right, so let's get this paperwork. So we are talking about Kindling the Native Spirit Book, written by Denise Lynn, international lecturer and healer. Denise Lynn is a member of the Cherokee Nation, has gained wisdom from native cultures around the world, including the Zulu in Africa. And it just goes on. Really, really cool. Uh, Denise reveals the power of ancestral wisdom to uncover your authentic self and your connection to others and the earth. When you ignite your native spirit, your intuition and sense of self expand exponentially. The gateways, spiritual realms open and life force energy fills you. All right. So we got the spray. One of the great spirits that we honor and acknowledge in my culture is the tree spirit. Our trees not only carry breath, but the spirit of wisdom as well. Connecting with this spirit is a powerful and meaningful practice. Spray this ritual spray anytime you want to bring the energies of the tree spirit into your sacred spaces. I absolutely, absolutely adore that. Gorgeous. All right. All right, so the sage, white sage leaves are native to Southern California, but they are sacred in, in nature to the natives of Southern California. Uh, these leaves were harvested specifically for this box by a friend of mine who farms white sage in Southern California specifically for use in ritual practices. I love that I can offer such a magical plant that is not only eth good, ethically grown, but grown with the intention of using for magic. And it's used traditionally for ceremonial or medicinal purposes. And yeah, it's used to purify, cleanse objects. There's a whole bunch of information about sage. Um, I use it a lot to cleanse, but I am glad it is ethically sourced. All right. Now we have, this is a Botswana agate, which is awesome. Botswana agate is considered the royalty in the agate family. The meaning of Botswana agate is to accept and receive. Botswana agate is a stone that helps you find deep inner peace and serenity no matter what your life situation may be. It will help you move on and leave the past behind, which is important for me right now. Botswana agate will help you accept the past, present, and future. It will remind you that all things happen for a reason. It is better to let go of resentment towards people who may have hurt you in the past. No wonder I was feeling this. All right. So we got a sweet grass braid. Uh, sweet grass is sacred to many native cultures. It is believed to be the sacred hair of Ogushin. I don't know. Sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong. Please forgive me. Mother Earth and is often braided. The three sections are representing mind, body, and soul. Okay. Uh, burp, burp, burp. The three sections of the braid represents love, kindness, and honesty. Most native people follow very tra uh, sacred traditions and believe that when one takes something from the earth, for example, when sweetgrass is picked, Anyway, so that's the sweetgrass incense sticks. Uh, beautiful smelling incense sticks are curated with the intention of bringing the spirit of sweetgrass into your sacred space. And we have the sunset tea. 
All right. After a beautiful nature ritual, settle in with a beautiful cup of sunset tea. This tea is a mixture of hibiscus petals, lemon peel, orange peel, rose hips, and rose petals. And then it gives instructions. Um, just add one teaspoon. And so that is the incense sticks and the tea. And yeah, so then here's the salve, the horsetail salve um, is an herbal remedy, re wow, remedy that dates back to ancient Roman and Greek times. It was used traditionally to stop bleeding, heals ulcers and wounds. But I have learned from experience with using horsetail oil and salve that has amazing anti-aging effects on my skin. It also is, has, is an excellent cuticle salve for faster nail growth. And of course, it does give, um, you know, about check with your doctor if it's okay for you. And then, of course, we have uh, the moon in the zodiac calendar. And on the back of it, it actually has all the new moon stuff for um, the month and for all the different signs. And that is how you can actually order one for yourself if you are interested so that's really really awesome i and absolutely love this box i love the um the deck i have no idea what my favorite item is in this box i love the book you know i think it's great i love books and i'm not mad at not getting a candle this month because i would much rather have a book um, the cards, the deck is amazing. Um, I just love everything. The spray and the stone. I, there, it, what a beautiful box. So I am in love. Thank you, Melissa, who makes these boxes from Sacred Space Crate. I'm really, really happy with this box. The sweet grass, everything smells wonderful and I'm really happy with it. So what do you think about this box? And let me know what your favorite item is in this box as well. I really love to hear. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.